Alright, I finally got this working kind of reliably. It is a, uh, a Bedini SG circuit. I can't get any close on that one. It's this Bedini S uh, SSG circuit. Schoolgirl. Simple schoolgirl. Um, I modified it a little bit. It has a has a BJT uh, connected to the trigger coil and that's driving the base. And that's driving one of these coils. Then I have the Bedini recovery circuit uh, from one, one of Bedini's books. And this takes uh, energy, if it was running standalone, the input would go into the circuit and then it would uh, the back EMF would get recycled into the circuit. This circuit likes to run with uh, really high voltage and the back EMF from the schoolgirl circuit provides a really high um, voltage in the back EMF. So here you can see the trace that's running. Uh, I think that the purple one is the input. Let's see. Turn off one of them. So the purple one is the input uh, into the recovery circuit. So that is the back EMF coming off of the simple schoolgirl motor or a simple schoolgirl circuit. And what's cool about this is as I move the trigger coil moving the trigger coil affects the speed of the motor now this is the uh, coil that has the Bedini recovery circuit now watch the voltage See there. It goes up a little bit. Oh, there we go. It goes up a little bit. Let me change the scale. change the scale. Number two. There we go. So that's five volts per uh, division move it. So this is me, the change you see is me moving the trigger coil for the recovery circuit that's running off the back EMF of the first uh, simple schoolgirl circuit. You can see the change. It ranges from about 8 to 11 volts. Now the input I'm not actually measuring. It's, I'm running off of a 24 volt power supply that's going to a PWM pulse width modulator so I can turn up the, uh, the speed on this thing. Now what's great about this is that The recovery circuit doesn't heat up at all, so it's doing some work, but it's not heating up. The schoolgirl circuit heats up, but because it's, it has a back EMF being stripped off of it by the recovery circuit, it runs more efficiently. Now in combination, the recovery circuit likes the high voltage, so it adds a high speed or the high end to the motor. The schoolgirl uh, circuit is a little bit more torquey, so now it's I'm, I'm guessing it's running about 18 volts, so it's it's kind of hard to to hold. You know, let's see how many watts we're using. That is about 19 watts. So let's turn it up a little bit more, get it to about 100.
Oops, went up to about 200. All right, back down to about a. We're about a hundred now. Yeah, if I try and. Um, yeah, ow, shit. Uh, yeah, I can't stop that with, at 100 watts with my hand. So this is, uh, oh, at 100 watts, let's uh, check out the, the speed. I'm going to use my handy dandy, uh, Speed tester, tech, digital tachometer. So I have a little thing to reflect back. So it's doing about 13,000 RPM. Again, this is about 100 watts. Let's see the check the temperature here. Yeah, it's a little hot to the touch now. But I don't smell it that much yet, so it's still okay. So again, that's running at about 100 watts. Oh, now it's starting to smoke. The power down. You can see the, the smoke coming off. Blowing on it does help. <laughs> All right. Nope. Well, that's the uh, test for today. Uh, now I'm gonna. I have another circuit here that combines both of those: the Bedini SSG with the Bedini recovery circuit. So I'm gonna have another motor. This big one right here. That will have, that's got a two inch uh, 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 diametrically, or uh, uh, axially magnetized magnet in the middle. But one coil is going to be running on the SSG and the other is going to be running on the uh, Bedini recovery circuit. And what does that look like? So this is the, the circuit for the Bedini SSG. With the PWM module. And some notes I have on there. Oh, whoops. Uh, this is SSG, but this is with a, a uh, normal coil. I'm actually using a uh, bifiler coil. Actually, I don't think I have the, the circuit for that or the drawing for that, but I do have one for the uh, Bifiler Bedini recovery circuit. And that is this one right here. So it's these two circuits put together. That's about it. Oh, one other thing is I made these, uh, cause normally to start the motor up, I have to spin it kind of fast, which won't work for the bigger motor, um, manually. So I built these little hall sensor, hall sensor things. So I can use this as the, uh, instead of the trigger coil to start the motor and it starts a lot easier that way. Um, 
but it burns out if I'm using too much voltage, so I can't use it with this 24 volt power source. That's it.